There's been some buzz in the IT industry lately about something called the as-a-service model. But what is it, and more importantly, what does it mean to the business consumer? We're going to find out today on this edition of the Cyber Advisor. Hi, I'm Eddie O'Coin, reporting from Data Tech Studios with a Cyber Advisor exclusive. Today we're going to talk about something that's become a hot topic within the IT industry, but isn't fully understood by a great number of consumers, the as-a-service model and what it means for customers that decide to embrace it. Before we talk about the specifics, it's important to understand how and why the as-a-service model came about, essentially ushering in a new era of information technology. There was a time not long ago when IT providers had it easy. Business organizations relied on their providers to tell them what hardware and software they needed to purchase in order to operate as efficiently as possible. Salespeople then swooped in and brought the wow factor with impressive demonstrations of what their products were capable of. Decision makers jumped on board and substantial checks were written to close the deal. What happened next was of little consequence to the IT provider. The check was cashed and for better or for worse, the risk then fell to the customer who was left to make the best of their purchase. Well, what often happened next was the customer was stuck with a product full of all kinds of fancy features that their end users had no idea how to use or put into practice. This is known in IT as the consumption gap. Then, as technology advanced, those same customers found themselves behind the curve two years later, looking at a whole new list of expenditures for new hardware and software to avoid falling behind the competition. This is known in IT as a tech refresh. So went the cycle in IT where customers unloaded large capital expenditures on the newest technology just to find themselves confused and left behind just a year or two in the future. Then a viable and game-changing alternative emerged in the form of cloud computing. There's some confusion about exactly what the cloud is, so let's go to Mike Puckett in the data center for some further insight. Mike? Yeah, thanks, Eddie. The cloud is basically a metaphor for the internet. Therefore, cloud computing is a form of internet-based computing that allows a company to access a number of services and applications, as well as store a vast amount of data via the net. Uh, data storage for any company is imperative, if for no other reason than backup and disaster recovery. The cloud is also a driving force behind an increasingly mobile workforce through the ever-growing demand for remote access. Because an outside service provider like Datatech runs the necessary software and servers in a secure data center like this one, uh, organizations are able to employ these services at the fraction of the cost of doing so in-house. So through the as-a-service model, cloud providers can offer certain products and services that could previously only be provided locally, remotely over the internet. Yeah, that's right. This allows business organizations to pay for essential information technology as an operational expense, as opposed to the large capital expenditures that used to be the norm. And on top of that, companies pay for these services as they use them, instead of leaving money on the table in the form of unused resources. This is the foundation of the as-a-service model. If that's still a little hazy, you can look at it like this. Instead of buying enough generators to light up the New Orleans Superdome, a customer pays a comparatively small monthly bill that charges them for the electricity that they actually use. IT is very similar, and this phenomenon essentially initiated a shift in power from the IT provider back to the consumer. That's right. Uh, when organizations adopt the as-a-service model, they can easily and inexpensively upgrade to stay current as advances are made in technology. In addition, as businesses find themselves needing to grow or downsize, their IT can seamlessly and inexpensively transition with them. That's a great point, Mike. Now, this movement began with three basic models. First, there was software as a service, where providers began to furnish access to integral software remotely as a web-based service. This saves customers the expense of upfront purchase, as well as the headaches involved in licensing and updating cloud provider handles these as part of the deal. Access to the software is billed as a regular monthly expense and users can work and interact with the software just as if it was installed locally via a web browser. That was followed by platform as a service where the provider supplies an online computing platform to develop web applications 
And then infrastructure as a service, where a service provider op offers a virtualized computing infrastructure to a business organization over the internet. Is this a trend that we'll continue to see in the future, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's little doubt that this area of technology will continue to develop and likely become mainstream within a few years. With the majority of new software being built specifically for the cloud, it's anticipated that by 2016, over one quarter of all applications will be available on the cloud. Um, more and more technology will be offered as a service. Service providers will be able to take the best of the best as to the different products and technologies on the market and bring them together to offer companies a streamlined collection of top-notch services in one package. Another great point. Data Tech has gone to great lengths in the form of internal research and testing in deciding which technology companies to partner with in order to offer a world-class menu of products and services to its customers. By partnering with giants in their respective industries, such as Dell Sonic Wall, Level 3 Communications, 2X Software, and Kaseya, to name just a few, Data Tech is able to provide the very best in IT security, connectivity, remote access, and remote monitoring to customers that get to experience the best yeah. of all world, worlds under one umbrella. Yeah, just one of the things that makes Data Tech unique from other service providers is the partnerships we've been able to cultivate over 20 years in the industry. It's all behind the scenes, but Data Tech takes great care in choosing reputable, solution-driven companies to partner with in order to offer the most effective solutions on the market to our customers. You know, as the as-a-service model allows us to provide these solutions as an affordable monthly expense that fits into any operational budget based on what the consumer actually uses. And under the new rules of tech, we as IT providers want our customers to get the absolute most out of our solutions. Yeah, that's exactly right. Customers that embrace the as-a-service model have a lot more flexibility. Our success as a provider hinges on our customer success. Uh, we reach our goals only when our solutions help our customers reach theirs. It's an exciting time in information technology and Data Tech is very proud to be a front runner in adapting with the times. No doubt about that. Cloud computing fueled by the technology consumption gap has initiated a shift in power <laughs> back to customers that choose to embrace the evolving as a service model. That said, savvy business owners must, must take great care in choosing the right, highly qualified service provider to guide them through this transition into the new era of IT. A provider that can ensure that they don't get led astray and left behind in the technological dust. Data Tech, with 20 years of successful, award-winning IT services under our belt, has helped a variety of businesses maximize efficiency and minimize costs by showing our clients how to adapt and grow with evolving technology. Partnering with a seasoned and respected provider that will demonstrate how to take full advantage of the vast array of cloud resources available today is an essential element in fully leveraging the information technology of today and tomorrow. That's all from here. From Mike Puckett, I'm Eddie O'Coin from Data Tech Studios. Tune in to our next edition of The Cyber Advisor.